There are individuals within PKR who want to prevent party president Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim from becoming prime minister in two years, claims Dr Idris Ahmad, the chairman of Otai Reformasi, a non-governmental organisation that once advocated for Anwar's release from his second sodomy charge. Very clear. Yeah, ada pihak-pihak yang mahu menghalang Datuk Seri Anwar dan juga kalau kita tengok kemungkinan dalam parti-parti keadilan pun ada juga yang yang uh, mahukan kedudukan ini satu kedudukan rebutan so reformasi otai reformas reformis memang kita pandang berat tentang permintaan-permintaan yang tak sewajarnya dari pihak-pihak yang tertentu itu sebab kita nak tekankan that this transition of power has to be carried out accordingly. He said the movement will oppose anyone that attempted to thwart Anwar from becoming the next Prime Minister. When asked to be specific on those in PKR who are against the transition of power, Dr Idris said it is clear from several Facebook postings, including a statement from a minister. So, why suddenly I did comment here and there like this tak seronok lah dan tak cantik ya yeah? kita tak mau create doubts itu yang penting jadi hari ini otai reformasi nak tegaskan we are all out for the transition which apa uh, datuk sri anwar ibrahim akan dilantik sebagai perdana menteri on Tuesday, PKR Supreme Council member Datuk Saifuddin Abdullah said that Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad's term as an interim prime minister has never been discussed at the Pakatan Presidential Council meeting. Saifuddin said Pakatan only made the decision that Anwar would be appointed to the post after Dr Mahathir. Dr Idris said the movement was against the recent motion raised at the recent Parti Pribumi Bersatu Malaysia Convention calling for Dr Mahathir to complete a full term as Prime Minister.